Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are going to solve the simultaneous equations here by substitution method. So I will have this first equation and this second equation. So we do need to let people know that. So I'm going to step or start off by writing this down. This is my equation one. And this is my equation 2. And then, by substitution method means that I will need to choose either equation 1 or equation 2 and to express one of the variable as a subject. Meaning, either x equals to something or y equals to something. Looking at these two equations, Mr. Tan would actually choose equation 1 or 2. Yes, I will choose 2. Such that I will have x is equal to 4 minus y. And this will be my equation 3. Okay, so x equals to 4 minus y will be my equation 3. By the way, do you know y is minus y? Yep, because if you look carefully at equation 2, I'm actually minus y on both sides so that this one will become 0. Yes? Okay, so that's what happened here. Alright? And now, once we have this equation 3, we are going to substitute into equation 1 because this equation 3 comes from equation 2. So this, that's what we are going to do. We are going to substitute into equation 1. How does it look like when we present in the working? Well, do let people know. We are going to substitute equation 3 into equation 1. So I will have my 2x, but the x, we are going to substitute x as 4 minus y. Because x and 4 minus y, they are equivalent to each other. They are equal to each other. Yeah. So instead of writing x, I'm no longer write x. I actually will write as 4. 4 minus y. Okay. Minus y equals to 5 to complete this whole thing. And after which, we just need to solve this equation. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times negative y is negative 2y. I still have my minus y and 5 here. And just need to solve for this now. You will then see negative 2y and negative y. They will make very good negative 3y. 5 minus 4 minus 8. Do you know why? Yes, I'm minus 8 on both sides of this equation. So that here, 8 minus 8, it will be equal to 0. Okay, so that's actually what happened. Okay, so let me put back my 8. Okay. So I will have negative 3y equals to negative 3. So y will be equals to negative 3 divided by negative 3. So final answer, y will be equals to 1. And right once we know that y is equals to 1, then we could Substitute this y equals to 1 into 
my equation 3. Meaning, now I have my equation 3 as x equals to 4 minus y, right? But I do know what number is my y, you know. The number for y is 1. And so, for this part here, instead of writing y now, since I know the number for y, y is equals to 1, I'm going to write as 1. So final answer, x equals to 3. And now, for the last part, let's do a quick check, just to make sure our answers are correct. So we are going to substitute back the answers for x and y into the equation 1 and 2. So equation 1 is 2x, x is 3, minus y, y is 1. Does this give me back 5? Yes, it does. Great. x plus y must give me back my 4. Okay, so x is 3, y is 1. It does give me back my 4, which is what equation 2 is. Check. And so, our answers are correct. Okay? With that, we have come to the end of this video. So if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.